Welcome former Tory Minister Anne Widdicombe. And further developments on the Angela Rayner Council House scandal. Labour's deputy leader is facing fresh questions over whether capital gains tax may be owed on a second property. If she was exempt from capital gains tax on the sale of her first Stockport Council House in 2015, it would mean her husband should have paid the tax on the property he sold the following year. Police are now investigating multiple allegations against Angela Rayner, with at least a dozen officers assigned to the case. Meanwhile, sources have briefed The Times that she's expected to claim exemption from capital gains after offsetting the tax with a kitchen renovation. So to qualify, the kitchen pictured by Zoopla when she sold the house would have apparently had to be worth between 15 and £23,000. And there's the pictures on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm not going to comment. Just make your own minds up. Is that a 23 grand kitchen? Who knows? Uh, Anne Whittacombe, are you with us? Angela Rayner yeah, denies... Yeah. Angela denies any wrongdoing, but I want to know, is Sir Keir Starmer jeopardising Labour's electoral open goal by continuing to back her on this before well, exactly. he's got a full they answer? Well, handled it very badly. I mean, there's no doubt at all in my mind that uh, she should have published the tax advice now. I don't call upon people to publish their personal taxes, but she does. And she has done so with Conservatives in the past. So I don't see why she should have been different. But if they published the tax advice, and if it was definitive, uh, that would have closed the matter down. Uh, the fact that Keir Starmer doesn't even appear to have seen that tax advice for himself, um, I think means that, that he just isn't handling this well. Uh, and, of course, it gets more complicated as you go along and new allegations come along every five minutes. Uh, and so we must now wait for the police investigation. But I would stress that, as I have done uh, on other programmes, uh, that she is entitled to a presumption of innocence until proved guilty. Yeah, of course. But my only concern is there's been such a... There's a position from the Labour types and the left who say this isn't even a story worth discussing. Of course, Angela Rayner is innocent until proven guilty. But I've had so much slack online in recent weeks for even saying, oh, look, a new development in the Rayner story. So many people think this isn't even worthy of discussion because she's, you know, somehow a working class girl done good. No, I mean, the, the nonsense about how everybody's having a go at her because she's working class... Uh, is just uh, utterly ridiculous. You've got the same claim in reverse being made today by a lawyer uh, in the case of the uh, the dead baby and, and the aristocrat, where he says, oh, well, you know, she's being uh, um, persecuted because she's up at well. Now, class has nothing to do with it at all, whether working middle or upper. She either did or didn't uh, do the right thing with her taxes, and that's the only question. The police are looking at it. Yeah. They will be able to answer it definitively, you know, which the rest of us can't because she hasn't published it well. OK, well, Rayner has said in a statement, I've repeatedly said I would welcome the chance to sit down with the appropriate authorities, including the police and HMRC, to assess out the facts and draw a line under this. I'm completely confident I've followed the rules at all times. I will say, as I did before, if I committed a criminal offence, I would, of course, do the right thing and step down. I mean, let's just remind ourselves, when uh, Boris Johnson was caught eating crusty m and sandwiches in Downing Street, she called for him to resign upon only police investigation. But there we are. Um, separately, and let me just show you this clip from the Chancellor Jerry, Jeremy Hunt talking about uh, Liz Truss. First of all, is Downing Street really infested with fleas? We, we have to know. Um, I, had, I actually uh, live in the flat that Liz Truss lived in and Boris Johnson lived in before that. Um, she was only there for uh, less than 50 days. Um, I had a little bit longer when I knew I was going to be moving in there and I replaced all the carpets at my own expense vast expense because it had to be a security cleared company that did it so um i'm pleased to say that the hunt family has not had the flea problem and in 15 seconds does liz trust have a future in the conservative party very very quickly please very much depends on what happens at the next election if they're wiped out and if the right is resurgent it's possible otherwise i would have thought it unlikely okay Great stuff. All right, Anne Whittacombe, Conservative Firebrand, former Tory minister, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to get some weather now, but a big hour coming up next, including...